Chapter 1 Our Solar System and Earth Introduction Have a gaze at the night sky, and you will notice thousands of stars that are spread all over like swarms of glow worms in a dark forest. The sun, which is the most important source of light and heat for us, is one of these stars. Similarly, the moon, the other important natural source of light, is a satellite, while the earth where we live is a planet. The stars, the satellites and the planets are among the countless objects spread across the sky, known as celestial bodies. These celestial bodies constitute a universe of which the earth is also a part. We have always looked at the sky with curiosity and plenty of questions in our minds. Questions like why the sun is so hot, why stars twinkle at night and why the moon keeps changing its size over a period of time, make all of us think, know and explore more about these celestial bodies. Let's try to find out the answers to these questions in the chapter ahead. The Universe Everything that exists in space is part of the universe. In other words, the universe consists of the sun, the moon, the earth, stars, gas and dust and all forms of life. According to a theory proposed by scientists Le Matre and George Gamow, the universe came into being almost 14 billion years ago following a gigantic explosion, called the Big Bang. At the time of that great explosion, the entire universe was a hot dense bubble. Gradually, during a course of millions of years, it cooled down and expanded to its present form. Our universe has a large number of galaxies. Galaxy Galaxies are vast clusters of stars, planets, gas, dust, etc., which are held together in space by gravity. There are billions of galaxies spread out in the universe. While larger galaxies have trillions of stars, the smaller ones consist of less than a billion stars. Galaxies have different sizes, shapes and brightness. On the basis of their shapes, there are three major types of galaxies, elliptical, spiral and irregular. All the stars that you notice in the night sky belong to the galaxy named Milky Way or Akash Ganga. It has hundreds of billions of stars including the Sunday. It has enough gas and dust to make billions of more stars. Stars The little twinkling dots that you see in the night sky are stars. These are giant balls of gas in space and have their own light. They are all held together by gravity. Stars take millions of years to form. They begin their lives in a nebula which is a cloud of gas and dust. Soon, the nebula becomes a hot dense ball and the center heats up. This hot core becomes a star, giving out great amounts of heat and energy. You must have also noticed that stars are of different sizes and brightness. A light year is the distance in space traveled by light in one year. Constellation when you look up in the sky at night, you can see groups of stars forming shapes such as those of an animal, a mythological character, or an object. Such a group of stars with some imaginary shape is called a constellation, nakshatra. A constellation may have just 10 stars or sometimes more than a million stars. There are 88 constellations known so far. Can identify some of these with naked eyes, like the Ursa Major, Great Bear, Ursa Minor, Small Bear, Orion, Scorpius, Canis Major, Taurus, etc. The Solar System The Solar System consists of the Sun, planets including our Earth which revolve around the Sun in fixed parts called orbits. Other celestial bodies like asteroids, moons, dwarf planets, meteoroids, comets, etc. are a part of the Solar System. The sun is at the center of the solar system and its gravitational pull keeps all the planets and other bodies in their orbits. The sun Made up of intensely hot gases, the sun is the largest member of the solar system. It provides heat and light to all the planets. Without the sun, life on earth would not exist and our planet would be completely barren and frozen. The gravitational field of the sun holds the entire solar system together. The planet. In the Greek language, the term planet means wanderer. The celestial bodies called planets have been named so because 
they are in constant motion around their parent stars. The sun has eight planets that orbit around it. No two planets are the same. They have different compositions, surface temperatures and gravitational pulls. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called inner planets as they are closer to the sun day. These planets are also known as terrestrial planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, which lie farther from the sun, are called outer planets. These planets are made up of gases, so they are also known as gas giants. These have rings around them and many moons. While the sun has its own light like other stars, the planets reflect the light of the sun day. Moreover, like other stars, the sun emits its own heat, too, and planets receive this heat from it. The orbits in which the planets move around the sun are shaped like flattened circles. The paths that they move in are elliptical, so they are also called ellipses. Besides revolving around the sun, each planet also rotates on its axis. Some planets have their own moons or smaller celestial bodies orbiting around them. Let's now study these planets in detail. Mercury, it is the smallest planet in the solar system. It is the closest planet to the sun day. It is also the fastest moving planet as it revolves around the sun once in every 88 days. However, it spins on its axis very slowly, once in every 58.6 days. Its temperature is around 400 degrees Celsius during the day, but drops to about 170 degrees C at night. This is because Mercury has almost no atmosphere. Venus, it is the hottest planet, with a temperature of 475 degrees Celsius even during the night. This is because its atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide, a gas that traps heat. Since its size is almost the same as that of the Earth, it is also called sister planet of the Earth. It is the brightest planet in the night sky and easy to spot from the Earth. As it appears in the early morning or evening, it is also called morning star or evening star. The Earth, it is the fifth largest and the third nearest planet to the sun day. It is the only planet that has life-supporting conditions, like water and air, which are essential for survival. From the outer space, the Earth appears blue because two-thirds of its surface is covered by water. It is, therefore, called the blue planet. Mars, it is often referred to as the red planet because of the presence of red soil. This planet has many features in common with the Earth, such as an atmosphere with clouds and polar caps that melt partly in summer. But it has no water and very thin and dry atmosphere. It has two small satellites. Jupiter. It is the largest planet of the solar system with faint rings around it. It is about 318 times heavier than the Earth. Also, its diameter is about 11 times more than that of the Earth. It is a gas giant made up of hydrogen and helium and is covered by a layer of clouds. It has no solid surface like most other planets. Jupiter is also the fastest rotating planet that causes severe storms. It also has a strong magnetic field and 92 natural satellites at present after discovery of 12 new moons in the beginning of 2023. Saturn. It is the second largest planet in our solar system after Jupiter. It is known for its rings. Space studies show that this planet has 12 major rings, made up of ice particles varying in size from very small to as big as an iceberg. Saturn is visible without using a telescope. It has 83 natural satellites at present. Uranus, it is the third largest planet after Jupiter and Saturn. It is four times larger than the Earth. Uranus is similar to Jupiter and Saturn in its composition but colder because of its distance from the sun day Uranus also has thin rings but they cannot be seen from the earth as they are black in color. It has 27 natural satellites. Neptune, also called the blue giant, Neptune is the farthest planet in the solar system. It is so far from the earth that it can hardly be seen, even with powerful telescopes. It spins quite rapidly on its axis taking only 16 hours 7 minutes for one rotation. 
One year on Neptune lasts for almost 165 Earth years. Space studies show that it has about 13 satellites and thin rings similar to those of Uranus. Dwarf Planet A dwarf planet is a celestial body that orbits the Sun, has enough mass to assume a nearly round shape and is not a moon. These include Pluto, Ceres, Eris, Makemake and Haumea. Pluto, earlier considered to be the smallest planet, was classified as a dwarf planet in 2006. Pluto is slightly smaller than the Earth's moon. It takes Pluto to 48 years to go around the sun day one day on Pluto is about six and a half days on the Earth. A unique Earth Our planet Earth is the only planet which has life. The photographs of the Earth taken from space show that it is a colorful planet with shades of blue, white and green. The oceans and seas make the Earth look blue when seen from space. The white color represents the clouds and green shows the vegetation. 30% of our planet is covered by land and 70% by water. The Earth is surrounded by an atmosphere of nitrogen, oxygen and water vapor. It also has a layer of ozone, which absorbs some of the damaging radiation from the sun day. Most importantly, the Earth has water. These conditions support life. Besides, our planet has soil, which allows plants to grow. Though the temperatures on the Earth vary a lot, 85 degrees C to 65 degrees Celsius, we have more or less constant temperature between day and night. Our planet is about 149,591,000 kilometers away from the sun day. Therefore, it is neither too hot nor too cold. The Earth's shape is joyed meaning it is slightly flattened at the poles. It takes 365 and a quarter days to complete one revolution around the sun day. It completes one rotation in 24 hours. Its axis of rotation is tilted. The Earth rotates from west to east on its axis. Its rotation causes day and night. Satellites or moons Satellites are smaller celestial bodies which revolve around the larger bodies, generally the planets. As planets move around the sun, their satellites accompany them in their revolution. Satellites may be human-made or natural. Human-made satellites are sent to space to collect information on celestial bodies. They are launched into the orbit using rockets. The moon is a natural satellite of a planet. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Mars have many moons, while Mercury and Venus have no moons at all. The Earth has only one moon. The Earth's Moon The Earth's moon is the brightest object in the night sky, but has no light of its own. It only reflects light from the sun day. The moon is about 3,84,400 kilometers away from the Earth. It completes one revolution around the Earth in about 27 days. It takes almost the same time to complete a rotation on its axis. The moon's surface is rocky and covered with dust. It has large holes on its surface called craters. There is no air on the moon. It has no life of any kind. Since the moon is much closer to us than the sun, it looks almost as big as the sun day. Sometimes, the moon looks like a complete bright circle while on other occasion, it is not visible. The day we see a complete circular moon is called the full moon day. After the full moon day, the size of the moon gradually decreases every day and after 15 days it disappears. This is called the new moon day and this phase is known as waning of the moon. After the new moon day, size of the moon starts increasing and the full moon is once again visible after 15 days and this phase is known as waxing of the moon. The various sizes of the moon visible to us during a month are called the phases of the moon. Meteoroids, Meteors and Meteorites A meteoroid is a tiny fragment of a comet or asteroid that has been separated or accidentally detached. As when meteoroids enter Earth's atmosphere or that of another planet, like Mars at high speed and burn up, the fireballs or shooting stars that we often see are called meteors. When a meteoroid survives a trip through the atmosphere and hits the ground, it's called a meteorite. Large meteorites can cause huge craters when they fall on the Earth and other planets. 
comet? You might have heard about or seen a comet with a shining tail flashing through the night sky. Comets are small icy bodies that revolve around the sun. Day. They glow with the light of the sun as they come close to it. Have you heard about Halley's comet? The Halley's comet is seen once in 76 years. It was last seen in 1986. Recently, in 1996, a Japanese astronomer discovered the Yakutake comet, named after him. It is considered to be the brightest comet seen over the last 20 years.